So if that's north, that means... Wait, that's not right. Oh, more was mercy. A little help? Are you from around here? Sorry, I'm not familiar with Gideon and... Wait, are you here because of my flyers? Thank Rutka. Call me Yasara. I'm here on a thrilling, inspirational journey. And I could really use a sturdy companion. I'm an author. Aspiring, really. I've penned a few romance novels, but they all lack... What's the word? Authenticity, yes. So, I resolved to get out into the world and find my muse. Now, here's the exciting part. I found it in Castle Gia Vess. Yes! Well, not exactly. A tragic affair played out there years ago, and love-struck spirits still haunt the castle. I acquired a magic lantern that allows me to speak to the ghosts. But, you know, ghosts. I need you to ward off the angrier spirits. Thank you for agreeing to accompany me. With your help, my next romance novel will be a masterpiece. Here, take the lantern. Now, fair warning. I've never actually used it, but I heard a ghostly woman wanders the city gardens. We can test it there. You made it! All right, this is the place where people see the spirit. Go on and try out the lantern. Who intrudes upon my grief? You, you can see me? It matters little. The miseries of Castle Geoves bind me here. Bind all of us here. We are cursed. Our gardens wither. Our once great walls crumble. And my gentle son feels nothing but heartache. I am Duchess Estella of Castle Geoves. As for the curse... It is the work of a vile trollop named Elizinda. Arke scorn her soul. My darling boy, Mathen was infatuated with her. And how did she repay his affection? By murdering him in cold blood. I cannot bear to speak of it any more. My poor Mathen. I sense his presence sometimes. He's bound to the place where he died. An old cottage northeast of Gilles, a place where he and Elisinda twisted. It worked! I told you it would work! Tall Papa's breeches, what a tale! A ghostly duchess, lusty young nobles, betrayal and murder. This story's got it all. Whew. Is it getting hot out here or is it just me? Yes! Tied to a cottage nearby. I can almost picture it. Rustic, secluded, tousled quilts, embers smoldering on the hearth. Gives me the prickles. Almost makes you forget someone likely died there. Something she said does trouble me a bit. The Duchess said the lover's name was Alizinda. That was my great-great-grandmother's name. It can't be a coincidence, can it? She lived in Gideon for a time before moving back to Alakir. Do you think... Do you think my ancestor murdered Mathen? This is the cottage the Duchess mentioned, I think. Not all that romantic, is it? Let's look around. Nothing but creaky floorboards and old weeds for me. I knew I should have brought my spectacles. What did you find? May I? Her anguish just jumps off the page, doesn't it? So... Mathen intended to marry someone else, and Alizinda killed him in a fit of passion. Can you imagine loving someone so deeply that you end up murdering them? Gods, that's romantic. Sort of. It's a ring of Mara, the sort of ring used in a pledge of marriage. 
Mathen might have intended to give it to this mysterious fiancé or... I'll hang on to the ring. Let's use the lantern. Maybe Mathen can shed some light on this. Who... who's there? Alicinda, my love. Is it you? So this is Mathen? This light. Gracious. It offers some respite from my sorrows. You have my thanks. I am Mathen Galanus, heir to the Duchy of Geoves. What brings you to this place? Curse? Is heartache not curse enough? My great love, Alizinda, poisoned me on the very night I meant to propose to her. Someone deceived her. Told her I meant to marry another. She killed me, yes. But it was an act of jealous grief, not witchcraft. I... I do not know. I've learned that certain objects hold a grip on the soul. Things we treasured in life. In my darkest moments, I sometimes feel drawn to the chapel where they laid my body to rest. I see harsh light glinting off my golden armor. Maybe... These long, gray years make it difficult to think. Seek out the chapel. You will find it to the west, amidst the ruins of the castle. If my armor keeps me in this sorry state, I beg you to find it. Without love, there is nothing for me here. My lady, forgive my impertinence, but you are the very image of my lost love. Alizinda. I'll catch up to you at the chapel, alright? How could all right? this be? I need to jot down... Oh my goodness. I, um... I, I believe I'm her descendant, brave Sir Duke... Uh, Baron... Whatever. My name's Yasara, by the way. What were we talking about again? You share her spirit, Lady Yasara. At last, fate grants me a kindness. Yeah! We yeah! must help him! That poor soul! Wait. Well, here we are, and not a scrap of golden armor in sight. Let's have a look around. What's that you've got there? Not a golden helm, by any chance. A magical incantation. The handwriting is different from Alizinda's journal. That means she can't be responsible for the curse. I knew my ancestor wasn't a sorceress. A murderer? Maybe. But not a sorceress. Of course, this all begs the question. Yes, and more importantly, why? The person who cast the spell clearly had an axe to grind. Maybe it was a court wizard, or some jilted witch. My novel's less romance and mystery at this point. Let's use the lantern again. Maybe the culprit's here. What are you doing here? Why aren't you caring for my boy? Did you find my dear Mappin? Can't I trust you to locate a simple cottage? How is that possible? It had to be Alizinda. When Mathen died, the Duchy's light died with him. That Red Guard wench cast us into darkness. If I could just have brought him back, I could have... Yes, Harke, forgive me. I wept over his body in this very chapel for three days without sleep or nourishment. My grief was ocean deep. He was my only boy. And so I cast a simple spell. I tried to draw him back with promises of glory. I failed. I, I cast the spell over his armor and sword, but it went awry. I wrote everything down. You can find my notes in my private study beneath the eastern wall. If you find his helm, breastplate, and shield too, 
you might be able to set things right. Necromancy? How could she... You! Oh, I see you well enough, Redguard. You think I don't notice the family resemblance? You stay away from my boy! Duchess Estella's notes that quickly? Think Rooped Guy can rely on your eyes. Can barely see a thing in this place. What do they say? Really? Oh, I think I spotted some on the way across the castle grounds. I knew that herbalism workshop would come in handy someday. If we do manage to find the armor, be careful pulling it out of the tangle. Heartsbane's quite deadly. I saw a clump of Heartsbane on the way here. Come on! This way, I think. There! That's Heartsbane, right? You found his helm? We're off to a great start. Unless... Sorry, sorry. I feel like we've assembled most of the clues to this mystery, but I just can't shake the feeling that we're missing something here. Well, Duchess Estella got them into the situation, right? She cast the ugly spell that cursed poor Math in, and now we're gathering up the items she used to make this mistake in the first place? It can't be that simple. What are we missing? Maybe, maybe not. She wasn't a professional necromancer. Maybe she missed something too. Remember what Mathen told us? Certain objects take hold of the soul. If that's the case, isn't it odd that we found him in the cottage instead of the chapel? Only one way to find out. Let's use the lantern again. I'm still carrying the ring. If he followed us here, maybe we're on to something. Lady Isara, I had not expected to see you again. Why do you summon me? Where are we? It's been so long since I walked the grounds of the castle. I scarcely recognize it. Whatever the place, it is good to speak to someone again, and to see the fair image of my lost love. Spell? Some ill-conceived plot to resurrect me, I presume. Mother never could suppress her passion for the occult. Now we both pay the price. But even so, I feel something else now. Some other force that nags at my soul. Something fairer, softer. My ring of Mara? I had not thought to see it again. I see it clearly now, though. At rest near the heart of the fair Lady Yasara. The course is clear, friend. Gather my armor and rid me of the curse. In the meantime, I will bask in Yasara's glow. Lady Yasara, you bear not only Alicinda's ring, but her spirit as well. Had I a heart, it would pound like a drum at the sight of you. I, uh... Thank you, Mathen. I'm sorry for what happened to you. My friend and I will fix it, I promise. Having you beside me is all I need. Come, let me sweep you away. Find my armor and break the curse. Your friend will be safe with me in the meantime. Why can't I remember? Oh my! What is... what just happened? your lecherous friend, just like her ancestor, ensnaring her betters, meddling in family affairs. Huh. 
Mathen should be thanking me for sparing him the pain. Mathen truly meant to marry Elizinda, a woman with no pedigree, no means, and no great talent. She was a no one. I couldn't bear the idea of him throwing his future, and that of our duchy, away over some childish romance. So I spread a rumor. I only meant to split them apart. It was for his own good. Oh, typical of low-bred paupers, she overreacted. Mathen died by her hand, not mine. None of this matters. What matters is breaking the curse. I need one last object. The Sword of Giovese. It is in the mausoleum, beneath the Great Bridge, guarded by Calvis Vannon, first Duke of Giovese. Retrieve the sword and bring everything you found to Tavia's tower. If all goes as it should, we can reverse the spell and set both of us free. I don't want that woman lingering near my son any more than you do. Find the sword and bring it to the tower. Driven by their passions. She can finally end this curse. And now I part with the Lady Yasara as well? Is there nothing you won't take from me? Place the regalia, adventurer. It is well past time we left. Farewell, dear lady. I wish we had more time. Mathen! Why aren't you... I am sorry for absconding with dear Lady Yasara. I found myself conflicted, torn between two intentions. One in the cursed armor, and another in the ring of Mara. You sundered Mother's curse, but it seems my soul remains tied to the ring. Trapped, perhaps. The foul burden of necromancy no longer weighs me down. But my connection to the ring is no less intense. It's passionate. Fiery. It's like all my unfulfilled dreams and desires remain bound to that band. 
end to Lady Yasara. Perhaps. Part of me still yearns for the warmth of Aetherius. But now, as I behold the beautiful Lady Yasara, I'm given pause. She is so like my beloved Alicinda, with a heart as warm as the sands she walked as a child. I must speak with her. Lady Yasara, light of my afterlife. That ring you carry is the key to my heart. I leave my fate in your hands. My hands? Methan, what are you saying? If you choose to wear the ring, I will remain by your side, an attentive and loving guardian. Are you serious? Tall Papa, preserve me. Destroy the ring, and I will pass to Aetherius. The choice, my lady, is yours. Did I just get a proposal from a ghost? Up until now, the only man who ever wooed me was a stable hand in Bergama. I know I should recoil at this. It's profane, blasphemous, right? But gods, he's cute. And the way he speaks, it's like a dream. Ugh! How could he lay something like this at my feet? I can barely decide which boots to wear most days. When he abducted... I mean, swept me away, he told me his heart was torn to pieces. He said I was the only balm. He said I was his second chance. I don't know. Aside from the whole ghostly murder victim thing, this is what my heart always yearned for. It's why I write romance novels. The thought that I could bring him love and joy is intoxicating. Still, he deserves peace and rest, right? I want you to stay, Mathen. I really do. But it wouldn't be fair to you or Alizinda. Our friend will destroy the ring. I understand. Yours is a loving heart, Yasara. Goodbye, Mathen. Farewell. Ugh. Isn't this always the way? You find the man of your dreams, but it turns out he's the lost soul of a man your ancestor poisoned in a fit of passion 200 years ago. Just my luck. You're right, of course. I'm desperate for some grand romance, but it's no more real than my stories if I act selfishly. Ugh. Let's focus on the good things, right? A curse broken, a writer inspired, and it's all you're doing. Thank you, my friend. Gods, he was gorgeous. I'll find someone, eventually. But I doubt they'll have a chest like that. <laughs> <laughs>